Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to announce that I am working with Builders Warehouse to bring you guys another awesome DIY. But this time I'm not only going to be doing a DIY, I'm going to be actually revamping, giving my bathroom the refresh it needs. It's a gorgeous bathroom, but there is just no storage. Yeah, I just can't wait to take you guys along with me along my makeover journey with Builders Warehouse. I'm super excited, guys. So let's head to the bathroom so I can show you guys what I'm basically dealing with right now. So this is my bathroom. It is honestly such a mess and I really wanted to do a little bathroom makeover situation and I need to tackle the situation as you can see there is no cupboard space which is why it looks so cluttered and the only cupboard space that I have is this shelf so yeah it's a bit organized but it definitely could be better so this is going to be my DIY for today. I'm going to be turning this bathroom shelf bookcase situation into a full on cabinet cupboard. Yes. So before we start with this project, with this DIY, let's head over to Builders Warehouse to get all our supplies that we need. I'm currently in the kitchen section and I need to find some door handles for the cupboard. So this is the wood that I get and then I just take it to the cut shop to get it cut to my sizes. Hi guys, so we are finally starting with the DIY of my shelf. So let me show you guys how the shelf looks. So this is how the shelf looks. It's a pretty basic shelf. Okay, so what you're going to need for this DIY is obviously the doors. So these are the doors. So you just get two of them. And obviously my measurements are going to be different to you guys if you're going to do this. So... Yeah, it's no use me giving you the measurements, but you're just obviously going to need two doors. And this is the wood I chose. It's quite thick. You could definitely do something thinner, but this was just the wood that was on sale at Builders. And then I've decided to also put a piece on the top. I'm going to show you my vision for it in a second. And then all you're going to need are these self-closing hinges and they come in a set of two so two per door and i got them in gold so there's obviously an easy way to do this if i show you this cupboard that i got from deco fern it comes with these hinges which is what i wanted but the only problem with these hinges is that you need to actually have like a circular drill or something because you have to drill in a circle into the wood and yeah I did not have that and so I had to settle with these self-closing hinges but make sure it's self-closing so that the doors don't open by itself and basically it's going to look like this and this is gonna stick out which you know I'm not the happiest about but it's just something I had to settle with so I got them in gold and then yeah, they come with their own screws and things, and these are all you're going to need. And then obviously you're going to need like a screwdriver and a drill. And then I picked up some handles from Builders, which you guys saw. So I'm not so sure if I like them for this cupboard, but I really do love them. I love this like brassy gold. It's so stunning, and I just think it's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to put this cupboard together. So you guys can see basically what I'm going for. So you see, this is how the cupboard or the shelf is going to look. It has this like gap here, as you can see, which I wanted to cover because I don't really like having, you know, this piece there. So I thought it would be super cool to actually just cover it and then have this part where I could put like brushes or 
a thin tray of jewelry in and i think it just looks so cute i'm just stacking it on books like i told you but this is basically how it's going to look once it's done okay so before we can drill we obviously have to measure and like i said we have two of these things that need to go in these three is for the back of this and then this is going to be sitting like this the first thing i'm going to do is i'm using my tape measure and i want to measure the length of this so basically i'm putting these things here okay so i got my markings on and that's basically the places i'm going to be drilling Okay, so I didn't film me drilling, but I basically just drilled the two holes, the four holes, for those two hinges to get on, and now I'm going to assemble it. And the moment of truth... So this is how it's looking with the doors on oh my gosh guys i can't believe i didn't realize it better from top here because you see here's the hinges so it's supposed to be like this but because there's no you know thing here to stop it it just goes down so i think i should get something to stop it here so it looks a bit better Okay, so finally the top drill, the top um, screws are in and now I'm going to paint the white just because, I don't know, it's giving me major kitchen vibes, <laughs> I'm not really liking it. So I'm just painting it the same color as the rest of the cabinet, which is this. You're probably not going to even see it. Yeah, it's just honestly a mix. <laughs> so I'm going to be using a roller and start to paint it. How good does it look? It's looking super good. First coat is done. I'm gonna let this dry and then put on a second coat. Yeah. And then I will show you guys how it looks tomorrow once it's dried. Okay guys, so this is the finished cabinet. How stunning does it look? So I was honestly going back and forth on Instagram um, polls with you guys, asking you guys which handle looks better and all of that. But honestly, I just didn't really find that a handle looked nice on this cabinet just because it's quite simple and quite plain. And I mean, it doesn't really have a lot going on. So I just wanted to keep it as minimalist as possible. And I think it just looks so stunning. And it's not really a problem that it doesn't have handles because you can open it from the top here. We are finally done with the DIYs. We are now going to get to decorating and upgrading this bathroom because it really needs it. So something I really needed to add to this bathroom was a plant. I mean, I... I love plants, I think you guys know that by now, but I really wanted to add a plant to this bathroom. So I picked up this plant and I got this hanging basket. How stunning is it? It was only a hundred rand. Oh, it is so cute. I love the vibe of it. So I just put one of those um, hanging hooks into the ceiling. How cute does it look and I can't wait for this plant to like grow more because it is a hanging plant and just hang over the edges of this pot. It's gonna look so stunning. So the next thing I got from Mr. Price is this storage basket. Like how much more neater does this area look? I absolutely love it. It really matches like the rag and this color so well. So yeah, I just moved this to this side and I don't think I want to add anything more to the toilet. Just keep it 
just like that. I actually added the cactus there because that toilet gets the best sunlight, honestly. Okay, so for the bathroom cupboard, I'm not so sure. Like, I have this glass, um, have this glass tray which I keep, as you can see, my clips and ponytails in, which is why I want to get like the tray in here so that all of that can go in there. But for now, it's on top, and it's a really cute tray. Obviously, I have to have my candle from Typo because I love candles. And then this is just a vase from. MRP which I painted some eucalyptus and I think it looks super cute I really like the basket because it ties in with the basket there and yeah bathroom finally looks so neat and so put together except for the bin let's get rid of the bin for this video my bathroom refresh and DIY with Builders Warehouse. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed decorating with me and DIYing with me. I want to say a huge thank you to Builders for inviting me to work with them on their campaign. It means honestly so much to me and none of this would be possible without the support and love from you guys. So thank you so much. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it really does help support and grow my channel. Don't forget to subscribe as well and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.